Welcome to our project Engineering, Procurement and Construction of Coal Handling Facility Phase 5 Package 12073 consists of MTBU B Phase 3 and Crushing Plant TAL, CHFSP1, CHFSP2 at Tanjung Enim, South Sumatra. The project is divided into two milestones where Milestone 1 in MTBU and Milestone 2 in TAL. At Milestone 1, Reclaim Feeder takes in coal from existing stockpile MTBU, then flows over coal conveyor tent. Then, it will be thrown to crushing station which is able to crush the coal in project size of 50 mm. This facility has emergency stockpile which direct to besides building with capacity of approximately 3,000 tons to accommodate overflow of coal while next overland conveyor 11 was not in charge. Afterward, the coal from crushing station will be delivered through long overland conveyor 11 to transfer tower 1 and poured onto Overland Conveyor 12 that will be end by interfacing to the existing facility of Banjarsari Power Plant. There is a substation too which controls the operations of OLC 11 and OLC 12 while Reclaim Feeder, CC Tent and Crushing Station are controlled by existing substation 1. All of conveyors in Milestone 1 have design capacity of 550 ton per hour. Otherwise at Milestone 2, hopper of conveyor excavator 33 takes in coal from existing bucket wheel excavator reaching transfer tower 0 and fits it to conveyor excavator 32 and through apron feeder. Besides taking coal from apron feeder, Confair Excavator 32 and has also accepted coal from two reclaimed feeders that is fed from stockpiles, which is placed over a long body of the ground Confair Excavator 32 and. It flows to transfer tower 1, then it is delivered onto Confair Excavator 31 and. At the end of the conveyor excavator 31 end, the coal will be crushed by crushing station into product size of 200 mm. The product coal will be delivered by conveyor shunting 30 after. During the transferring, the coal is temporarily taken to mechanical sampler to produce coal sample in size of 50 mm. Next, it will be distributed separately onto different lines of conveyor system in Group A over coal conveyor 10A and, and Group B over coal conveyor 10B via belt flows, and also transfer tower 7 to shun over existing coal conveyor tent. In Group A, Belt flow delivers coal to coal conveyor 10 A end, reaching transfer tower 2 end. Then fits the coal to coal conveyor 11 A. The coal will be transferred passing transfer tower 3 by coal conveyor 11A. Afterwards, there are two modes. The first is stacking mode. It begins from coal conveyor 11A, stack coal to the existing stockpile one with capacity of 100,000 tons directed by traveling stacker 
which runs along the ground cool conveyor 11A. And the second is transferring mode. It begins from coal conveyor 11A, directed by a traveling stacker that delivers coal to the coal conveyor 12A through the transfer tower 5. Finally, the coal will be delivered to existing conveyor 12 through transfer tower 6 to be thrown to the existing train loading station 1. In Group B, Baplo delivers coal to coal conveyor 10B, reaching transfer tower 4 and then fits the coal to coal conveyor 11B. At the end, the coal will be thrown by coal conveyor 11B to existing stockpile 2 through a belt plow and a cut. There are four substations at milestone 2. Substation input 1 controls CE33, apron feeder, two reclaim feeders, and CE32 end. Substation input 2 controls CE31 end, crushing station, CS30, mechanical sampler, and belt plows. Substation SP1 controls CC10A end, CC11A, traveling staker, and CC12A. And the last, Substation SP2 controls CC10B, CC11B, and belt load. All of the conveyors in Milestone 2 have design capacity of 2,400 ton per hour. That's all of the production flow in this project. Thank you for entrusted us to be committed as main contractor to accomplish it well successfully, as our professional vision in constructing pride.